Hmm, it's that time of the year again when I actually have to start looking for Christmas presents again. I have to find something for my friends and my loved ones, something that they'll probably never use and never really ask for, something space related. And I think I just found the thing. But first, I want to beta test it on myself to see if it's any fun. Introducing Women of NASA by LEGO. This is something I found completely by accident while browsing Amazon and it was only 20 bucks. It was actually on sale and I think it still is and basically includes four uh, minifigures and three really interesting Lego pieces. The Lego booklet includes historical description of each of the women immortalized in the set and it's multilingual as well and of course includes the instructions at the end. The set includes the booklet and three little plastic baggies with lots of pieces, over 200 pieces of Legos that you can actually almost hear the sound of. I love that sound. This is like my childhood right here. I just had to put this in, I'm sorry. Anyway, enough of this ASMR stuff and let's get with the building. So it actually didn't take me that long. I think it took me maybe 40 minutes or so to build everything. But the minifigures are really, really, really fantastic. They're very unique. Uh, each of them has a lot of detail put into them. And honestly, they actually represent the four women uh, from the set really, really well. Um, one thing is that I'm pretty sure this is not for uh, children under, I would say, seven because of the small parts. Uh, but if you're doing this with your child, they might actually love this and might learn quite a lot about NASA and its history from this particular set. But let's also briefly talk about each of these women in a little bit more detail. First, we have Margaret Hamilton, who is the pioneering computer scientist who coined the term software engineering back when she was working for the MIT. And as you may already know, this wonderful lady was responsible for developing and essentially um, constructing the guidance system and the software behind the guidance system for the Apollo mission uh, to the moon. She's also the pioneering brains behind the math for control of systems and uh, through software. And she's also a CEO of a company that she started with the main purpose of building software for various control systems. She's also published like over 130 papers She's essentially like a super woman. I don't really know why we don't talk about her more often, but she's awesome. The second person on the list is Nancy Grace Roman, uh, who is actually the woman who struggled the most with being a woman in astronomy. This lady right here was actually the first well-known woman in NASA and essentially became the first chief of astronomy at NASA and the first ever female executive in NASA in general. She's also very famously known as the mother of Hubble. She planned the Hubble mission, was responsible for all of the major decisions, and uh, even has an asteroid named after her. She's also over 90 years old now, and as you can see, still kicking and still doing really well. Next, we have two astronauts. The first astronaut is Mae Jameson. She is quite an incredible individual in many ways, but I guess the biggest thing is that she was the first woman of color in space back in 1992. She's also done a lot to help uh, teenagers and young children to pursue sciences and technology and uh, is currently leading the so-called 100-year Starship organization whose primary mission is to make humans interstellar species in about 100 years from now. So definitely a very inspirational woman. And the last on the list is the only person who's unfortunately no longer alive and that's Sally Ride, who uh, was basically the first American woman in space uh, back in 1983. She was only 32, which makes her the youngest astronaut ever. And uh, she co-founded a company called Sally Ride Science, the goal of which is to inspire girls to pursue math and science. And though unfortunately Sally passed away about six years ago, her legacy will definitely live on and this set will help us commemorate her achievements. And honestly, building the set was so much fun. It only took me about 40 minutes, like I mentioned, and was actually quite relaxing, just reliving the both history and also my own childhood and my own love of Legos kind of really helped me unwind and relax and have this quite an enjoyable moment by myself. I still don't really know if I'm going to be gifting this particular set to anyone else. I, I don't really think anyone I know would like a Lego set and or a space set. But I'm gonna try nonetheless, because you know, everybody gets presents once in a while they don't really need. One particular thing I really loved is the miniature cute shuttle with the engines that are gimbling slightly. 
And the shuttle can then be attached to the boosters and to the orange tank by literally just clicking them together, making this very cute looking rocket. And honestly, if you're a space fan or if you love uh, history of NASA and history of space, I think this is like a must have. You're going to learn a lot just by reading about these women and uh, you might actually end up um, learning things you didn't really know about before. Like, for example, Hubble telescope. Not many people even know that uh, Nancy Roman was literally responsible for guiding the whole mission. And having your own little cute Hubble telescope standing on your desk now kind of makes it feel really cool. Anyway, so that's really all I wanted to show you in this video. I wanted to tell you about this little present I made for myself for Christmas and also give you an idea of what you can actually give to maybe your friends, your family or someone else you know who might enjoy space things. And everybody loves Lego, right? And it was only 20 bucks. Like this is actually one of the cheapest Lego sets I've ever bought for anyone. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you, now you know a little bit more about what you can buy for Christmas and uh, maybe this is an idea that will help you to give to someone else. Now, on the other hand, what am I actually going to get for Christmas? Probably more stuff I'll never use. Socks? Sweaters? Why don't they make NASA sweaters? Why are there no NASA sweaters? I want a NASA sweater. That would be epic. Or even socks. Why can't we have two little socks that look like two little rockets? Hey, that's actually a pretty good idea for a startup. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Merry Christmas and see you soon. Space out and as always, bye-bye.